So I have to add this praise to the, for the Miami Herald and McClatchy uh, in the same day that I posted another um, commentary on it, uh, Jackson Rep Holmes, and that is that uh, they've proven that they are leader, the, the leader of all the news with the uh, story about Jeffrey Epstein. And um, so let me delve for a moment into some of the most controversial subjects of our era. Uh, Mr. Trump talks about fake news. I think actually he turns out unfortunately to, to be a, one of the biggest perpetrator of fake, fake news. Uh, but uh, there are people, <coughs> I think a plurality of people, who realize that uh, some entity, some organization, some has uh, taken control of our news media. I happen to believe, forgive me now, please bear with me, because I want to get to why uh, the Miami Herald and <coughs> McClatchy, even as McClatchy uh, apparently is filing bankruptcy and bowing out uh, in, of the news, uh, daily newspaper business, are the leaders, uh, the preeminent leaders of all news, whether that be alternative news for people who talk about fake news. Uh, I think some of those people are real, not Trump, um, uh, or the mainstream media. Uh, that, so that's, that's my objective here to explain it. So as I try to cover the basis, please bear with me. Um, it's, it's a strange subject, but you've heard talk about the <coughs> Illuminati. And the Illuminati are uh, 13 uh, families that have been around for hundreds of years, perhaps. Um, you know, some of those names are the Rockefellers, the Rothschilds. Um, I won't get into more of them. I don't want to get myself in trouble. But... Uh, the 13 family. So uh, the thing is that um, uh, it's, it's been long stated in, uh, in alternative news uh, sources that uh, these people um, have um, tendencies toward pedophile. If you think of the royal families are always intermarrying, that's a way of understanding it incestuous incest brings uh, bad genes pedophilia what have you uh, or and then but I'm, I'm just gonna give you my point of view because I want to get to the end of this and talk about the heroism of the Miami Herald and of McClatchy uh, they're not under the control they're not managed news they're not uh, controlled media they they so to speak at least McClatchy has gone to its death defying uh, the hidden powers that be. Trump is the deep state, but McClatchy is defying the deep state even as in its last throes uh, and exposing the deep state through the Jeffrey Epstein investigation, which the Miami Herald has pursued with an incredible uh, vigor and courageousness. Um, so how does that shake out? What, what am I trying to get to here in terms of what the powers are? Um, it is said by David Icke that uh, uh, extraterrestrials started the human race. Uh, they knew it's going. They came here. They're looking for monochromatic gold to save their home planet. Uh, when they got to Earth, they found the monochromatic gold. They visited many other places. They found it here. They were ecstatic. They needed people to, they needed entities to m help them mine the gold to get it back and save their home planet. There were none. There were only the apes at that time. Ev evolution, humans had not yet evolved. They said, well, they're going to evolve eventually, and we need the gold now, so we'll mate with the apes, uh, be it by uh, test tube babies or what have you. We'll mix our DNA with the apes and create a minor as in mine the gold race, um, so they did. And they, they mated with the apes and created the human race. So you and I are half extraterrestrial, half 
ape. Um, unfortunately, along come the reptilians, and the exact relationship here, I'm not sure, but they also got involved with humans and uh, are able to, they're half human, half reptilian shapeshifters, which they look in their natural state like giant lizards, uh, ugly lizards, uh, fire-breathing lizards, and uh, um, they have a, a they're, they're not really, they're, let's say they're at best half human, so they have a side of them that views, uh, they're, they're not human, so they, did you know this, that uh, children's blood, <coughs> we all know that stem cells can help prolong life, right? If you have a problem in your body, an organ that's failing or something, stem cells can be used to grow new tissue which can help extend your life. Now, it so happens that uh, drinking the blood of children is also a way to extend life. In fact, if, if someone is, scares the child, terrifies it before killing it, and of course this is horrifying, right? But maybe not to a reptilian. Um, uh, then they, they're drinking adrenalized blood, which even gr more greatly extends a person's life or cures any health problems that may be starting to undergo. So, uh, enter Jeffrey Epstein's pilot logs. Um, this got to the heart of the beast. And, you know, you want to put a noose around your neck, you start exposing the uh, practices of the elite. I mean, think of the elite that were on Jeffrey Epstein's plane. Uh, Bill Clinton, um, he was a buddy of Donald Trump, very close friends. Uh, uh, Bill Gates, uh, the attorney uh, that represented Trump, uh, drawing a blank on his name, the, some of the highest people that we know of. And so they have this reptilian side and um, that they're also uh, prone to pedophilia, right? So they, that's the pedophilia Epstein Lolita Express angle. So, I mean, these are superior creatures. These are superior entities. They are so far advanced beyond us that they can crush us like a little beetle on the sidewalk. And yet the Miami Herald and McClatchy took them on, exposing all this with the Jeffrey Epstein story, getting uh, uh, Alex Acosta exposed and expelled from that post. I always knew that was a very suspicious appointment. Um, and uh, um, what I submit to you and what I believe, and it's actually somewhat just dawned on me, is that um, McClatchy and the Miami Herald <coughs> are much wiser, not to mention more courageous, than we ever imagined. And, um, you know, because if, if uh, what was that old... Uh, uh, saying there, uh, something in the dragon, I can't remember. Anyways, but if, if, if someone goes out and fights the dragon for you or I, you know this is an heroic person. They may be suicidal, right, but they're, they're definitely heroic. And um, uh, that's what they've done. And actually, you know, I've, these reptilians are comparable to dragons. They look a little bit or a lot like dragons. And there's a lot of them. And the Miami Herald and McClatchy uh, have exposed them. And a lot of the <clears throat> alternative news sources that complain about fake news, they're complicit. They've been covering that up. I know from personal experience, I was reaching out to some of the top leaders in that movement of alternative news, and they are guilty uh, whereas the Miami Herald has exposed this phenomenon. So uh, alternative news got nothing on the Miami Herald. 
nor does the, any other source of news that we know of in the United States. The only people that broke through to expose the enemy, the dragon, is Miami Herald and McClatchy.